Kent State heads to Washington, heads to Seattle, and the Huskies are 23-point favorites here. The total sits at 59.5. And, And yeah, this one's Saturday, 10.30 p.m. on FS1. Uh, There's a lot of people, you know, taking their their chances and, and whatnot, putting a little money line sprinkle on Kent State to beat Washington because of how bad they were last year, et cetera. I will tell you this. Kalen DeBoer is a fantastic football coach. He was Michael Penix's offensive coordinator at Indiana. Penix, of course, has transferred over. He is the starting quarterback for the Huskies. He appears to be healthy, and that Huskies team has talent. They have got a bunch of talent to work with. I think that they are going to be pretty good this year, like just right off the bat. You know, they they got some transfers in there, and they already had talent there. I think that this team is going to be raring to go and even as bad as they were last year, they were still able to throttle uh, some not great G5 competition with Arkansas State, etc. Kent State, I believe, is number 109 in the country in returning production, and the majority of that was on offense. So, let's see. I'm going to pull that up right now. Kent State, number 109 returning production, only 53% returning production only 42% returning production on offense. Now, they do have Marquez Cooper, uh, the running back, coming back. They do have uh, Dante Cephas, the uh, the wide receiver, coming back as well. Like, they they got some dudes, but, oh, I do not think that they line up well at all with, uh, with Washington on this. Uh, if you look at what Kent State was able to do for Sean Lewis against, you know, teams like uh, Texas A&M and... Even even Maryland last year, et cetera. Like teams that would not just maul you to death. Uh, they were not great when going up against big time competition. I think that they use these games not only as a paycheck, but also as a way to uh, try out some new things. We'll say that. Last year, 2021, uh, they had a pretty ridiculous non conference schedule. They played at Texas AM, lost by 31. They played at Iowa, and they lost by 23. They played at Maryland, and they lost by 21. I think Washington is better than Maryland. I think Washington, with this new offense, is probably better than Iowa. I don't expect Kent State to score a lot. I expect Washington to show off a lot of their new toys. So I'm going to ride with Washington to cover that 23. Uh, Kent State normally doesn't put up much of a fight in games like these. So I will uh, will certainly take the Huskies on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.